Technology Benchmarking for Comparative LCA and TEA, a tutorial produced by the DOE Advanced Manufacturing Office. Welcome to the AMO video tutorial series on cost and environmental impact analysis. I'm Heather. In this module, we'll be discussing technology benchmarking. In Comparative Lifecycle Assessment or Technoeconomic Analysis, it can be useful to compare an emerging technology to an incumbent technology, also called the commercial benchmark. This allows us to quantify the new technology's potential impacts in a comparative analysis. In this video, we'll discuss best practices for identifying commercial benchmarks for use in LCA or TEA analysis. To assess the potential impacts of a new technology, we must first understand the technology's potential market including the existing commercial technologies currently in use. Will the new technology ultimately displace one or more existing technologies? If so, those existing technologies represent potential commercial benchmarks. Here, we will define the commercial benchmark technology as the primary technology in the marketplace that the new technology would displace, assuming successful commercialization and adoption. The commercial benchmark technology will serve as the main point of comparison for the new technology in technoeconomic analysis and life cycle assessment. Therefore, the commercial benchmark should be clearly defined and used consistently throughout the analysis. Let's take a look at a few examples. If we are analyzing the potential impacts of a longer lasting catalyst for ethylene production, the commercial benchmark may be the state of the art catalyst used in commercial ethylene manufacturing today. This benchmark technology is an appropriate comparison for the new catalyst because it represents an existing commercial product that serves the same final function in the end-use application. The functional unit for these two technologies can be defined identically, enabling objective comparison. Let's try another. If we are analyzing the potential impacts of a novel heat treatment method for high-strength steel, the commercial benchmark may be a similar grade of steel processed using the conventional heat treatment method. Here's one more. If we are analyzing the potential impacts of a new sensor technology that will improve process control in a manufacturing line, the commercial benchmark may be the same manufacturing line with typical sensor systems or with no sensors, depending on what is typical for state-of-the-art commercial facilities today. You may have noticed in some of these examples that some technologies have multiple possible commercial benchmarks. However, once you decide on the best commercial benchmark to use, it is important to maintain consistency throughout the analysis. If you identify multiple potential commercial benchmarks that would make useful comparisons, you have a few options. One option is to choose the single best commercial benchmark. Your other option is to select multiple benchmarks and compare the new technology systematically to each of the relevant benchmarks in turn. If you choose this option, maintain consistency by carrying all of the benchmarks you've chosen through all analysis steps, avoid switching between them. Keep in mind that a new technology may have multiple possible applications, and the best commercial benchmark may be application dependent. Make sure to choose a benchmark that's consistent with the end use application described in your functional unit. For more information on functional units for LCA and TEA analysis, check out our tutorial video on functional units. In rare cases, you may also come across a technology for which there is no commercial benchmark. This situation may arise if the new technology would initiate an entirely new commercial market. For example, you might be interested in analyzing a new sorbent for direct air capture of carbon dioxide, for which there are no similar technologies yet available in the commercial marketplace. If there is no commercial benchmark, you may need to explore alternative comparisons for the new technology. For example, in some fields, there may be anticipated thresholds for commercial acceptance of a new technology given in the literature. Depending on the purpose of the analysis, it may also be appropriate to compare the new technology to an established cost, energy, or emissions target, such as one given in a funding opportunity announcement or roadmap report. The absence of a commercial benchmark should be noted in your analysis with an explanation and alternative approach for assessing impacts. Once we've identified the commercial benchmark, we are ready to collect the data needed for our analysis. For environmental LCA, this will include mass and energy flows, including releases to the environment. For techno-economic analysis, this will involve assessment of manufacturing costs, including both capital and operating expenses. To gather the required information for both the new technology and the benchmark technology, we'll need to dig into the process specifics of each. In future video modules, we'll discuss resources and techniques for data collection, estimation, and analysis. In this video, 
We defined the commercial benchmark technology and discussed methods for identifying the best benchmark to use. The chosen commercial benchmark technology will be used as a point of reference throughout our analysis to assess the impact potential of a new technology. For more information on tools and techniques for cost and environmental impact analysis, please check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.